A grand jury decision not to indict the officer involved in Eric Garner's death is a hard pill to swallow for these Wagner College student leaders. A lot of us felt like, you know, we know Eric Gardner and we know Eric Gardner's in our lives, our parents, our brothers, our cousins, and all of these people who we love and care about, that, that could have been them. I don't think anyone should feel as if their life doesn't matter or that their life can be took in at any moment with no consequences. Carrie Alexander and Jared Williams say it's their duty to do something about it, like they did with this demonstration in the middle of campus after a grand jury in Ferguson, Missouri, decided not to indict the officer who killed teen Michael Brown. When it comes to taking action, both Carrie and Jared say it's important to reflect first, then respond. That's why they're planning a series of upcoming dialogues in the coming weeks. Because if no one talks about it, then it's nothing going to change it. One of my biggest um, I guess stances is on um, validating and uplifting the experiences of everyone and giving people the space to vent and to say, I really feel upset about this or I really feel um, however they're feeling. Provost Dr. Lily McNair says these leaders are the new version of an old student group that affected lots of change. Many African American students, black students here on campus in the 70s who wanted to make a difference and they organized a group called Black Concern and that group really addressed issues around race, ethnicity nationwide and on campus as well. Looking ahead with that same vision, Jared and Kerry also plan on getting their groups involved in the more peaceful protests that have been popping up around the city. They know there's a lot of work ahead. It's daunting, but I think there's hope. On Staten Island, Stephanie Officer, New York One.